In this video, we're going to look at document security. There's two ways we can do this. The first way is to require a password to open or modify the document. We do this via the Tools menu and drop down to Options. And we work on the Security tab. On the Security tab, we've got a Password to Open box and a Password to Modify box. If you look at Password to Open first. You simply type your password into the box. Click on OK. It will ask you to re-enter the password and it will compare those two to make sure that you that match them up properly. We'll save that and close it. Now when we try to reopen the document, it asks us for a password. Look at the, the wording on the dialog, open password to open the file. So all you need to do is enter your password and OK, and then you've got full access to your document. To remove that password, we just reverse the process back into Tools and Options, and we just remove the password from that box. The password for Modify will allow you to open a document if you don't have the password, but if you want to make changes, then you need a password. So put that in the box, click on OK. Again, it will ask you to re-enter it just to compare the two. And we'll save the document, close it down. Now when we try to reopen the document, we have options. It says it's reserved. We enter the password to be able to modify it, or we can open as read-only. If we want to click on just read-only, We've got access to the document. We can make modifications to it. But when we try to save it, it won't let us. It forces us to do save as. We can't overwrite the original document. Close that and try and reopen it again. Remember, it's still got the password attached to it. This time, I'll put the password in. Instead of reading it, opening it as read only, we'll put the password in. Click on OK. We can make changes and save the document. And it lets us save it this time. So that's password protecting when you are opening a document. Tools, Options, on the Security tab. And it's just putting your password in the Password to Open or Password to Modify box. There is another option though for security and we access that from tools again but this time it's to protect a document. This is different to password protection for opening the document. This won't stop you from opening the document but what it will do is limit what you can do to the document when it is open. We've got the protect document task pane open and we use this section two editing restrictions, put a tick in the box, and we have four options. We can limit the user to making changes, but track changes will be automatically switched on. We can limit the reader to just adding comments. We can limit them to just filling in forms or to make the document totally read only. Let's have a look at track changes. We say yes to start enforcing the protection. And again, you have a choice to enter a password or not. You don't have to enter a password. I, I won't at this instance. But the document is protected. So I can make changes to the document. But you can see, if I just close down the task pane, you can see that actually track changes is on. So that was tools. Now I've got, whereas before I had protect the document, because the document is protected, I've now got unprotect the document. And we're back to the, the task pane. So it's putting a tick in the box, choosing what kind of modifications you want users to be able to do, and then start enforcing the protection. 
choose whether or not you want a password and you can also stop protection from this task pane as well so that's document security two different ways first way was for when you're opening a document the second way using the task pane was to protect the document once it was open to limit the kind of use the document can be put to